Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning class. How are you today? I hope you're doing great, staying at home and staying safe. It's Miss Bella again, and today we are going to continue with module two, days. We are going to do some revision or review of what we have learned previously. Let's get started. You are looking at an analog clock here. An analog clock has numbers printed on it from number 1 to number 12. Jam analog mempunyai angka 1 sehinggalah angka 12 yang tertera. Okay, most analog clocks have three moving hands that show the time of the day. But there are also clocks with only two hands. The word hands means jarum in Bahasa. So, jam analog ada tiga jarum yang sentiasa bergerak. Tapi ada juga jam yang cuma mempunyai dua jarum. Alright, so let's look at the first one. It's small hand or it's also called as the hour hand. Okay, jarum pendek. Jarum pendek yang paling pendek dan juga yang paling kecil juga dikenali sebagai jarum jam. Okay, then we have the big hand. The big hand or also known as the minute hand. Jarum yang besar dan juga panjang juga dikenali sebagai jarum minute. Okay, and we also have the third hand. Some clock doesn't have this. It's also functioning the same. But this one is called the second hand. Jarum sa'at. Okay. This hand moves continuously unlike the other two hands. Jarum yang ini bergerak sentiasa tak seperti dua jarum yang lain. Okay. Jarum ini disebabkan dia menunjukkan sa'at. Jadi pergerakan dia lebih aktif. Alright. Biasanya jarum ini lebih nipis dan juga panjang sedikit daripada jarum minit. Okay, so you can observe the clock you have at home. Does it have three hands or it only has two hands? Okay. Here are some of the ways that you can use to tell the time. Sometimes you don't have to read the exact number on your watch or on your clock. You can use phrases. Okay. You can see the red colored font on top. To and past. To means that belum sampai kepada jam ataupun pukul berapa yang hendak disebut. Belum sampai. So 5, 10, quarter, 20, 25 means that those are the minutes. Minit, berapa minit tinggal sebelum sampai kepada jam yang kita nak sebut. Okay. And then pass means sudah melepasi. 5, 10, quarter, 20, 25 maksudnya minit yang disebut itu sudah dilepasi. Contohnya sudah 10 minit lepas daripada uh, pukul 2. So it's 10 past Two. Okay. You need to practice this if you want to be able to use this accurately. You need to practice with your friends or family. Then you will be able to use this easily. Alright class, the concept is similar. Very similar. If you see the number mentioned, for example, 10 Past. That means 10 minutes selepas ataupun sudah melalui jam yang disebutkan. But if you see the word quarter, that means 15 minutes. Alright, quarter represents 15 minutes. 15 minutes after stated hour. Okay, jarum Minit sudah pun melepasi jam yang disebutkan sebanyak 15 minit. Alright, in this picture, the time shown is 
quarter past one. Quarter past one. Sudah pun melalui jam pukul satu sebanyak lima belas minit. So it's quarter past one. Next, quarter two. Quarter two means fifteen minutes before stated hour. Lima belas minit sebelum jam yang hendak ditunjukkan. Okay, just like this picture you see, lima belas minit menghampiri pukul tiga. Nak masuk pukul tiga sebanyak lima belas minit. Lima belas minit diwakilkan oleh perkataan quarter. So when people ask you what's the time now, it's quarter to three. Quarter to quarter lima belas minit to menghampiri jam tiga. If you see the word half, 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 half means separuh. So if we are talking about time, separuh daripada satu jam means thirty minutes. So half past bermaksud thirty minutes after stated hour. Maksudnya sudah pun melepasi jam yang hendak ditunjukkan. Sebanyak tiga puluh minit. Okay, like this picture, jam yang ditunjukkan adalah pukul sebelas dan jarum minit sudah pun melalui sebanyak tiga puluh minit separuh. So, it's half past eleven. Okay, tiga puluh minit sudah melalui pukul sebelas. Half past eleven. This is an exercise in your textbook, but I'm going to use this as examples to show you what it means by quarter to, quarter past, and also half past. Look at the instruction, match the clocks with the times in the box. Padankan jam dengan waktu yang disebut di dalam kotak. Okay, number one, this is a picture of a digital clock. Jam digital. Why? There's no hands on this clock. Tak ada jarum. It shows time automatically and it will change accordingly. Okay? There's no hands moving. So, number one, there's a three on the clock. Which one is the correct answer? Okay, of course, we have to find the number three. So, the answer that has Three is here. So number one, the answer is three o'clock. All right. There's no minutes shown. Tak ada waktu a minute yang ditunjukkan. Okay. Number two, seven zero five. The number shown is seven zero five zero seven zero five. So we have to find the number that match the picture. All right, so seven. All right, so the answer that has seven and five is this one. Is this the correct answer? Let's see. All right, five past seven. Okay, when we're talking about past, that means it already go over. Sudah. Melepasi, okay. Melepasi tujuh. Tujuh adalah jam yang tunjukkan. So jamnya adalah memang tujuh. And then five here refers to the minute. Mewakili minute. Okay. I didn't show you this before, but the concept is similar. When you see the word pass, it means sudah mel melalui jam yang disebutkan itu. Alright. Number three, all right. The small hand is around number nine, and then the longer hand is around number three. 
So we learned this just now. This is 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Sudah melalui 15 minutes. Jam yang tertera is 9. So the time is quarter past 9. 15 minutes melepasi pukul sembilan. So this is the answer for number three. Okay, number four. Two twenty five. Okay, two twenty five. Two twenty five. Right. So the answer is this one. Why? Past means sudah melalui. Pukul 2, sudah melalui pukul 2, yes. Jam di hadapan menunjukkan pukul 2. And then uh, the minutes involved. Minit yang terlibat dalam waktu yang ditunjukkan adalah 25 minit. Jadi, 25 past 2. It's very easy, but you have to look carefully. Alright, number 5, 6.30. We learned this just now. 30 half past half past so the answer is this one half past six past sudah melalui pukul enam and then the minutes involved minute yang terlibat adalah half half we learned just now half represents 30 minutes 30 minutes all right number six the the hour shown here, jam yang ditunjukkan di sini, jarum pendek, the small hand is approaching number 12. Jarum pendek menghampiri pukul 12. Okay. So, ada berapa minit lagi? There are 20 minutes left. 20 minit lagi untuk sampai ke pukul, ke nombor 12. Okay. Jadi, the answer is 20 to 12. 20, 20 minit to menuju pukul 12. Okay, number 7. Okay, this is what we learned just now. This is 15 minutes. Melibatkan 15 minit di sini. Dan 15 minit sebelum. That means we have to use quarter before quarter before and let's look at the hour tengok jam yang dia hampir sampai jam menunjukkan pukul 11 so quarter to 11 so this is the answer for number 7 right the last one okay we look at the hour kita tengok jam yang ditunjukkan Hampir mendekati pukul 2. Okay. What is the answer that's left? It's only this one. Yang tinggal cuma yang ini. 10 to 2. 2 maksud dia menghampiri. 2 di sini pula adalah jam yang ditunjukkan. And minit yang terlibat. 10. 10 minit menghampiri pukul 2. So that is the answer for number 8. What else can we use in a sentence when mentioning time? We can use AM or PM. These are abbreviation from Latin words. Perkataan ini adalah singkatan daripada perkataan Latin. AM stands for Andre Meridium and PM Post Meridium. AM represents those times before midday and PM after midday. Since we have 24 hours, AM will be used for the half 12 hours and PM will be used for the other half 12 hours. As you can see below, I put the time that we can use this AM and PM abbreviation with. Okay, 
very easy sebelum tengah hari sebelum nak masuk tengah hari tu kita guna AM bermulalah daripada tengah malam sebanyak 12 jam and then bila nak masuk kepada tengah hari tu 12 tengah hari kita tukar kepada PM sehinggalah 11.59 malam ok baru kita tukar balik kepada AM the time shown here it's 3.30 AM or you can also use half past 3 AM ok and if it's in the evening, you can use it's 3.30 p.m. It's based on the time you're looking at the clock. Berdasarkan waktu awak tengah tengok jam, kalau waktu tu pagi, 3.30 pagi, kena guna a.m. And you must put the full stop. In between A and M, must be other titik because this is an abbreviation, so you have to put it. Kalau awak tengok jam, masa tu tengah waktu petang, awak kena guna PM. Okay. We can also use these four phrases at the back of our sentence to indicate the time better. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. Okay, this will help the reader if you are writing and the listener if you are talking to the person to understand what you mean better. If you don't put this, they might not be able to imagine or understand what exactly the time of the day you are talking about. Number three, you can also use the word a clock. A clock behind the time that you want to mention when you are talking about precise time or exact time. Waktu yang tepat mengikut jam. Okay, no minutes mentioned, no second mentions, tiada minute ataupun saat yang disebut you can use the word a clock okay for example the clock that i'm showing you now shows that it's 11 o'clock in the morning if it's in the morning of course you use in the morning kalau pukul 11 tepat tepat tak ada minute yang hendak ditunjukkan atau hendak diberitahu kita boleh guna perkataan a clock and you look at the time of the day if it's in the morning you use in the morning if it's at night you use it's 11 o'clock at night but you have to remember the word a clock can only be used with precise time waktu yang tepat sahaja Hello, I have to show up on this video. How can I not? I want to see you. Although I cannot really see you from the screen, but at least you can see me. Okay, I want to talk about the questions that can be used to ask people regarding time. Sometimes you might also get asked this question. So you want to know how to respond to these questions appropriately. All right. The first one is when you want to know the time now. Bila kita nak tahu waktu sekarang. For example, you're walking on the street. You don't have your watch. You don't have your a clock, obviously. And you don't have a phone. What can you do? You can find someone around you and approach that person and ask politely. Boleh tanya sesiapa yang ada sekitar you. Tanya dengan sopan. Excuse me, sir. What time is it? What time is it? And the answer usually goes, it's dot dot dot. You put the time shown on your clock or your watch in the dot dot dot. Okay, for example, uh, pukul dua. It's two o'clock. 
All right. You can remember you can only use a clock for exact time cuma untuk waktu yang tepat tak boleh guna dengan waktu yang ada minit-minit cannot a clock okay number 2 you use this question when you want to know the time a place opens or close bila nak tahu waktu buka ataupun tutup sesuatu tempat ah uh, i selalu tanya soalan ni for example when i want to go to a cafe at the mall but it's not yet open and then there's a guard ada uh, um, pengawal di situ and then i usually ask that person uh, what time does the cafe open okay bila cafe ni buka i put the cafe in the blank in this question that you see on the screen and then the answer usually starts with just at mulakan jawapan dengan at terus and then terus letak waktu okay for example uh, pukul 2 buka so at 2 o'clock just like that okay Question number three, you ask when you want to know when something is going to start or finish. Bila kita nak tahu waktu mula ataupun waktu tamat sesuatu. Okay, for example, uh, what time does this movie start? Bila uh, film ni akan mula? At, you answer with at and then just put the time shown. Put the time you want to tell that person. Okay, the last one is a little bit different. It's a little bit different. It's when you want to talk about the range of time. Bila kita nak bercakap tentang uh, wak, uh, jangka waktu. Dari pukul berapa sampai pukul berapa. So, the question is usually, when's, when's the class? Contoh, eh? Contoh. Pukul, bila kelas itu? And then you want to tell that person uh, dari pukul 8 pagi sampai pukul 12 tengah hari. So your answer should be from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Just like that. Okay. Number four is when you want to talk about range of time. Ada jangka waktu. Okay. That's all. Okay, class. Thank you for watching and... See you next time. Bye-bye.